Hi there, my name is Anders. E3 is next week, and that's why I want to talk about Sony so, and Sony's press conference. Probably the biggest thing at their press conference is gonna be the NGP or the Vita. Like, which is kind of a stupid name, but I guess they go and take it from Vita, like Vital or Vitamins. For those who don't know, it's a new handheld from Sony. And in a lot of ways, it's like a new PlayStation Portable. It looks very similar. It has a second analog stick. It has a touchpad on the back of it, so buttons can be mapped on it. But what I know, games that are in development right now use that touchpad as additional shoulder buttons because the device itself has only two shoulder buttons. From the technical standpoint, the Vita is something like a PlayStation 3, maybe a, a little worse, but it still is kind of incredible that they can take. Uh, that big console and just kind of shrink it to a portable device. But with that, I kind of have my doubts about the success of the thing because when you think back, when PSP debuted, it was also like PlayStation 2, only a bit worse, but again, a portable. So the thought at the time was that you can have these big console experiences in your hands on the go. And at the time, a lot of people thought that it's going to actually win uh, and be better than the Nintendo DS. History showed us that that's now how things worked out. One of the main problems with the PSP was that they had these big console games on it, and you knew that you can have the same experience home on a big screen on a couch. You could generally have a better time playing those games at home than do with PSP, especially when you take into account that the thing has only one analog stick, so developers had to think of ways how to you know, compensate for not ha having those controls. And another thing, in my personal opinion, that was a problem for PSP is that it didn't have a lot of truly portable games. Well, it's great to play GTA Liberty City stories on the go, it's not really a game that is designed for short bursts of play. For example, my road on the train into the university takes about 20 minutes. That kind of game isn't meant to play on on 20 minute bursts. Some some people have even a shorter commute to work, school, or whatever. Of course, there were luminous, there was pad upon, and things like that that are meant for that for that device. But still, the fact that games like Resistance existed on the PSP proves that not all games were truly meant for the PSP as a portable device. And the NBC looks the same, like one of the biggest games that's gonna be released on it is Uncharted. I never played Uncharted games, but I know there are good games. But again, the fact is that they're not meant f for short bursts. Those are big budget titles that, m ha that are meant for longer periods of play. Maybe the new Uncharted game for the NGP or Vita will be kind of made from the ground up uh, and meant as a portable device. And then there's the price point. We don't know how much will it cost, but it's safe to assume that this will be kind of an expensive device. Because we're talking about a PS3 in your hands. Maybe somewhere about four hundred dollars, which is a lot, especially in this economical state. So Sony has a lot of work to do, because my fingers of the thing are kind of mixed, and I think a lot of press and the public feels that way, that they don't really know what to think of the device. Of course, other things going to be mentioned at the press conference. I think Sony has to start by talking about. Uh, the PSN, how it was taken down. I don't know how much time they will devote it. Will they take it super serious or try to joke about it and kind of make everyone forget that it ever happened? We'll have to see. I think also they're going to talk about the move because, like the Kinect from Microsoft, the move kind of exists, but there aren't a lot of games that utilize it. Of course, some first party games going to be shown at the press conference like Infamous 2, Resistance 3, Uncharted 3, and of course there has to be some third-party stuff. I think, at least in some way, they're gonna mention Bungie just to mess around with Microsoft. Maybe some kind of third-party appearance gonna be made at the press conference last year. We had Gabe Newell from Valve. Um, this year they may have something similar. For example, Michael Baxter, a gaming analyst, speculated that Epic can show up, which kind of makes sense since Epic makes closest titles for 
Microsoft, but they have had games that were released on PS3. But tell me what you think about Sony's conference. Are you excited for the new handheld, the Vita? What kind of games do you want to see it? Or what you kind of games you want to see in general to be shown at that conference? Tell me what you think using the comment section below. But as for me, that's it. Thank you for watching, and bye.